Here we will learn to sketch quadric surfaces in Cartesian coordinate system. We will choose one of them as an example and later you can generalize the concept and apply into sketching other quadric surfaces. Now, to sketch this quadric surfaces in the system, you will need what we call as a reference point and this reference point can be a center or vertex of vertices if the center is not available. Now, we'll look at one of them, that is the ellipsoid. Let's say we would like to sketch ellipsoid in Cartesian coordinate system where the center of the ellipsoid it is not at the origin. So, the ellipsoid, it has center. So the center will be the reference point. Now let's take a look at one of the equation of ellipsoid. Let's say we have x minus 1 square over 4 plus y minus 2 square over 9 plus z over 3 square over 16 equals to 1. And from the equation, we are able to get the center directly, that is 1, 2, 3, and then we get the value of A, which is 2, B is 3, and C is 4. We are going to use all this information to sketch the ellipsoid first before sketching the coordinate axis. Well, let's take a look. First, you sketch the ellipsoid, okay, and then plot the center and label it. And also, the values of ABC, let's put inside and see. Here are 2, A is 2, okay, the length, the other length is 3, and upward it is 4 units. Okay, so from here, you know the size, okay, you know the shape, and after you have settled of this, now we would like to plot the coordinate axis at the correct place. Let's recall our x, y, z, okay, it is in, well, you can see, as you can see from here, this is, this is our coordinate system. So if we want to locate a point from the origin, what we will do is to move from the origin along the x-axis. Now let's take a look. Now we are locating the center. The, lo the center is at 1, 2, 3. Okay, as you can see from here, it is 1, 2, 3. Okay, so from the origin, if we want to locate the point, then we will move along the x-axis for one unit forward, okay? And then two units to the right. Lastly, three units upwards. And that red point, this particular red point, is the position of the center of the ellipsoid. Well, the problem is we draw the ellipsoid first. So, how are we going to put the axis? Here, we are going backward. If previously, we are moving forward, okay, right, and then up. Now, we are going the other way around. How? That is, from the center, we are going backward to the origin, that is from the x-coordinate, which is 1, okay, we are moving backward along the x-axis, okay, of course you can't see the x-axis, but you know the direction, we are going backward for one unit, and then the y-x, the y-coordinate is 2, you are not going to move to the right, but you are going to move to the left for two units, followed by three units downwards. And here is the position of the origin.
you have obtained the graph of course it looks messy so what you can do is you can redraw okay without drawing out the information of ABC first just draw the ellipsoid and the center okay and in your mind move your step according to the values given in the center locate the origin and draw the axis and done you have already obtained the ellipsoid and you can put in the values of ABC later